this time, this was considered to be state of the art weaponry. Now, the loading process is a bit tedious, what I say. See what you do? Take your black powder, pour it on the loading. Next, you grab your Spanish muscle body, and with a ramrod, you pack it down. <laughs> That's it, folks. There's no grand explosion like you see on TV. That's because that type of technology don't come around till the 1800s. All this is is a solid iron six-pound cannonball up against a large ship. It probably just bounced off the hull. You're just going to get the captain and crew upset against a smaller vessel, like the Chalupa over there. I'm talking about the boat, not the taco. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's that Chalupa. This against that. Yeah, the effects will be devastating. Now I'm sure you're wondering here, folks. Why on earth did Pedro Menendez choose to defend this board at a city using the middle cannons of big ships with big guns three miles off our coastline? And that puts us clean just away from them. Now they have to load up the ship to shore boats like the Chalupa. Now 400, 457 years ago, folks, they from the board used was completely clear of all vegetation. Where you're at right now, you can get a clear view of Anastasia Island. And the enemy is open. Now, once the enemy is in range, all 20 cannons will begin to unload at the same time. This six pound cannonball can travel at speeds anywhere from four to 500 miles an hour. Now, if you are one of the lucky few to survive the initial impact of this cannonball and all this flimsy shrapnel that follows, well, guess what? Your boat is now sinking. Now we'll prepare for battle, you're more than likely wearing armor, heavy armor. And guess what? what? Your boat is still sinking. Anybody want to guess what is not an Olympic sport in the 16th century? <laughs> Which is bad news for them, good news for us. Right? Right. right. Now the amount of gunpowder used to fire a six pound cannonball is roughly two pounds. Here we go. Well, guess what we're not Using two pounds. If we were to do that, y'all wouldn't be able to hear anything from the rest of the day. Now guess what else we're not doing today? Shooting a cannonball. Firing the cannonball. Oh, I know, I know. Yeah. Man. But hear me out. There's two good reasons why. One, the only cannonball we have. <laughs> <laughs> two, okay. Coast Guard and the neighbors yeah. across the bay don't really share our stuff. The last thing you want to do is go to the other person. <laughs> Especially now. Yeah, I'm gonna get three commands, folks. My first one's gonna be least, folks. That means, are you ready? My second one, that's right. And when I shout fuego, I 
want the entire crowd to shout out Fuego! Okay? Okay. Okay. Now, this would be a good time to cover your ears if you got sensitive hearing or if you don't like it. Fuego! 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 Come on, here, talk to you about this 